Let's say we don't have a hall pass. Uh, that's not cool, bro. Not cool at all. I'm gonna have to take you into the principal. You can't just be running around out of class without a pass. I'm in a hurry, so I don't have time to look up the proper punishment for this. I'm just going to pick one. Okay, what's my punishment? So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome back to Kindergarten. So you guys really enjoyed part one and to be honest, I did myself as well. This is a really unique game, it's got some cool concepts and the humor behind it what the freak was that? In the last episode, we pretty much did a normal day. We got killed by the janitor. I'll repeat that. We just had a normal day. And then we managed to get through the whole thing. There's loads of different mysteries and things adding up I want to check out. I can't remember who got out. It may have been, I think it was Alice. She walked out at lunchtime. And then there was also Nugget's Cave. Like, there's all this stuff. Let's check out the cards we got. So, this is the Oglebop Golem card. No one knows what Oglebop really is, but everyone is too afraid to ask him. <laughs> I love how this game takes from the mindset of a child, so it's like they're too scared to ask about the card. This is the Cyclops Duckling card. It is not a species or anything. It's just a duckling that had its left eye pecked out by a bigger duckling. <laughs> this is the Eye of the Buttholder card. The art for this card is just a zoomed in picture of the back of a cat. Okay, <clears throat> that explains that. This is a literally grass card. It's literally grass. That's all. Also, guys, this right here is a poster of Star Wars. I knew it looked familiar. That was me kind of putting two and two together. That's a lie. I read the comments and you guys told me. I I'm too stupid to realize that. I'm going to take 250 to school today, all right? We're going to start this day off with some money in our back pocket. I think we're going to get some goodies this time around. So let me just iterate. If we speak to Nugget, hi, my friends call me so. It is the exact same as the day before. However, our decisions can really alter the way the day goes. Uh, you get none from me. Didn't even read it. Go. Go away, Nugget, you freaking weird cross-eyed dick. Now that I've got money in my back pocket, let's just speak to the janitor. How you doing there, sonny? Don't mind the old janitor here. Just sweeping up after you silly cretins. Should he be Irish? Sweepy, sweepy, sweepy. That's really not Irish, is it? We're gonna stop talking to him, so can't really do anything there. We could cash our apples out for money right now, and then we could really stock up on the dough. Huh, what do I want to do? What does Monty have for us? Here's what's for sale. He's got a yo-yo, cigarettes, voice recorder, a screwdriver. Never mind. I'm gonna buy that screwdriver, I think. Got this sucker off the janitor for a steal. It's weird that he's willing to sell me the tools provided by the school, but I ain't complaining. It'll run you one pound, or one dollar even. It's a deal, man. One dollar, what a steal. That's probably a good deal even in real life right now, so we have ourself a screwdriver. Now I'm going to talk to Nugget and see if I can get anything from this. So we could go on the basis of what happened to Billy. We can say, well, let's say this one will be his friend. So we can't give him the screwdriver. That's interesting. We'll just skip all this then. He still did give us the Nugget of friendship though. Do not consume the Nugget of friendship for with his digestion, so too is our friendship digested. <laughs> I won't. Good. Nugget will see you later, friend. <laughs> a little bit on the ropes about that friend bit. Now that I've got the screwdriver, can I talk to the janitor about it? I'm not sure if I tried this before. Yeah, nothing more can be said there. We're gonna eat our final apple, and we are gonna begin our day of school. So we have a screwdriver, and also the nugget of friendship. I think we're well on track to kill the janitor somehow. I mean, I think the nugget is definitely an influencer of that, I, I think. So this is where we gotta go and pick our buddy. I wonder if there's any way we can potentially swap items here. Okay, the teacher is still on our case right there. Well, I mean, with the screwdriver, can we do anything? Can we talk to nugget or something with it? Okay, so nugget needs a magnifying glass for some reason. We still haven't figured that out yet. That is like a golden monster mon card. We somehow need to find out how we're gonna get that one. Let's teak two. I think it's, uh, is this Mrs. Applebottom? Did I just say teak two? Let's teak two. Go find a buddy or you'll be an outcast like Nugget. I'm gonna go for the toilet again. Okay, so we need to get our pass. I remember this part. You nearly killed yourself again there, teacher. Clear. <laughs> so we have the screwdriver. That's the main difference right here. I wonder if we can offer it to this guy here? Let's say we don't have a hall pass. Uh, that's not cool, bro. Not cool at all. I'm gonna have to take you into the principal. So even though, hold up, it's a different series of events. You can't just be running around out of class without a pass. There are rules and they must be obeyed. I'm sorry. Unfortunately for you, I'm in a hurry. So I don't have time to look up the proper punishment for this. I'm just going to pick one. Okay. What's my punishment? Uh. That's not right. I don't know why, but I find this game so fun. Just the concept, it's so freaking awesome. So we need to try and find a way to get around this guy eventually. We have our pass. Okay, he'll let his pass. Okay, and we can't go any further. There's a monster mon card right there. Perhaps that's what we need the screwdriver for. And then we have this. Wait, can we do anything here that's different? Hold up. So what's in those bags? I don't even want to know. What if this time, if we talk to the janitor, what's going on there, boy? What's in those bags? What bags? I don't see no bags. Is his voice changed again? I think it has. So I asked him what was in the bags, and this is his response. You know that by law, you're not supposed to be within one muff length of me, right? What's that got to do with the bleeding? How far did that judgment get passed down? Get at least one mop length away from the janitor. Hmm. I mean, what's that got to do with the bleeding? He's clearly a mass murderer. We've learned the past now of the janitor. Let's ask about the bleeding. Quite a bit, actually, if you catch my drift. 
I follow. We catch the janitor's drift and, um... Run, Timmy. Freaking run! Let's say that we didn't follow. Well, you really are a stupid kid. Oh, well. At least I can bring the school's test score averages up. Wait, what? Oh. Um. <laughs> you died. I would catch his drift next time. <laughs> <laughs> this time, let's ask how did that judgment get passed down? It's a long story, but it ends with someone on the end of a mop. Sounds riveting. That's all I needed to hear. So that's your murder weapon right there, and you still have it on your person. Okay, so this time, I'm gonna try and ask the janitor to clean the toilet. I mean, wait, can I do that? That's all I need to hear. Let's ask him to continue about someone ending up on the end of a mop. It is, but that's a tale for another time. I'm morbidly curious. <laughs> me too. That's what got me into this mess in the first place. I don't think it would be appropriate for me to tell someone of your age that story. But it's okay for me to see a bloody bag in the bin? Righto, you sure are a chipper, young sport. Here, take this nickel and buy yourself a bar of chocolate. Jeez, dude. I mean, we can say sure thanks. I mean, he just gave us some money. Now skedaddle. Oh, I, I thought that would be an item that we could pay the, um, the, the kid with. Can I speak to this guy now? Sorry, little man. I can't let you go any further than the bathroom. Ah, oh, man. I'm gonna check out how much the yo-yo is. Yo-yos. Don't know what it is about these things, but Jerome loves them. You can have it for one dollar. Uh, you know what, man? Let's do it. New hint unlocked. We have ourselves a yo-yo. We don't need anything else. Let's go and talk to Jerome. Will he want it now or maybe when we're in the playground? Dude, you know you're not cool enough to talk to me, let alone be my morning buddy. Besides, Monty's gonna hook me up with this sweet yo-yo. You mean this yo-yo? Ah, oh, come on! He told me he was gonna save that for me. You can have it if you'll be my buddy. <laughs> Thanks, Jump. I guess you haven't learned how to tell time yet. Morning time is pretty much over. Oh, okay, kids. That's the lunch bell. Let's go down for the cafeteria for a nutritious meal. I hear they're having slop today. How exciting. I was this close to being friends with Jerome, dude. Bit broken heart, to be fair. All right, I'm gonna be searching. Okay, we found another monster mine card. Oh, dude, we got a new one. Okay, and the girl leaves after we find it. Is that a new one? Okay, we're gonna keep checking around here, though. I need to find those glasses so that I can get the freak out of here, but I don't know where they are. I've been checking everywhere. I don't know if the dude's selling them, maybe. He doesn't have the glasses. They've gotta be somewhere, though, you know? So let's try talking to the janitor this time and tell him that he spelt biscuit wrong. Let's see if he gets triggered. What? No, I didn't. How would you even know? You can't even read. Monty can. Oh, shoot. Ugh. Is it that dweeb with the glasses? Who am I kidding? Of course it is. Hey, nerd. Oh, shoot. He gonna kill him? Oh, boy. Um, what do you want? Got some janitor stuff you want to sell me? No, but I got a coffin for you to buy. Oh, my God. I just got... He dropped the glasses, though. Yes. He's dead. There. Lessons were learned. Lines were drawn. <laughs> <laughs> He's not dead yet. You're a good kid for letting me know that little monster is going around correcting spelling. And in such a school of all places, shame for the way kids turn out these days. Is, uh, is he dead? I mean, he's soon to be, right? Let's agree with him. He picked up the glasses, but you seem to be one for good ones. We're kind of siding with him. You just let the old janitor know if anyone else has anything to... Oh, dude, he gave us the glasses. We are getting progress here. Oh, these glasses flew off of the nerd's head when I hit him. You can have them. These old eyes don't miss a thing. Dude, I'm so sorry. <laughs> what? What? What did you say to him? You should just rest now. Die, my friend. Die. I found some glasses. Yes! We are making progress here. I found some glasses. Oh, lovely. Go ahead and do what you gotta do. I won't stop you. Thanks. Okay, so we saw the girl leave. Um, the dude is bleeding now. It's super bad. Though. We are outside. We have the screwdriver. We're getting that freaking monster mon card. I can see something behind the oven, but I need something to unscrew it. We're doing it, man. I don't know why the bell just went off, though. We've still got one of the things left. There's also another door here, which we can go in. Go away, kid. I'll get in trouble if the principal hears you. Walk away from Lily. What? Are you kidding me? What the freak? Is she waiting to be told off? This is the door to the principal's office. Do nothing. Okay. We can literally do anything we want. This is so awesome. Right, let's check this room out here. This is the door to the janitor's closet. It's locked. Let's check the bathroom again. There were bodies in here. The bully is in here. Huh? You- You're not supposed to be in here! I gotta take you to the principal! Oh, shoot. That is... Unless... Unless what? Well... I'm out of si Oh, I see. We don't. Damn it! We're going to the principal! Yep. I saw that coming, I'm gonna be honest. This time we're gonna try the classroom, guys. This is the door to the classroom. Yeah, um... <laughs> Go back. All right, then, guys. Now we're heading to recess. So we've done some new things right there. We know the principal is bad, and this is a statue from right here. Alice? Is it Alice? I believe. So she knows that he killed Billy. Or she, yeah, he killed Billy. And I guess I kind of know that, too, because the principal, well, uh, he murders her straight up, doesn't he? This time, I think I'm going to go down to the Nugget Cave. I want to see what's going on down here. So behold the Nugget Cave. It is very deep and very dark. What secrets does it hold? Do you want to find out? Sure do. Oh, shoot. We just jumped down like that. We, um, oh. Jumping into holes you can't see at the bottom of is generally considered a bad idea. 
Nope, taken. There's a monster one card in the same place as before. So that's literally grass. So we've already got that one there. Can we play on any of the equipment here? I don't think we can. And there's not really anywhere else we can go. So I think there's a series of events we've got to do to lead up to something different here. I'm going to jump down again. Does anything change or is it literally just death again? Okay then guys, so we're heading over to show and tell. Now, this time, I think what I'm gonna do, I showed a Monster Mon card last time. They really wasn't interested. I might show the Nugget of Friendship. You know what, let's do it. Is that a chicken nugget? Why are you showing that? It is one of Nugget's nuggets. It means this is one of Nugget's friends. I hope you knew what you were getting into. Being Nugget's friend can be challenging. Who's next? Someone with something more interesting than a Nugget, please? And we're done here. Well, children, that was a fun little show and tell. Is that the end of the day? Oh, there's the bell. I hope you all had fun today. I will see you all tomorrow. And that's literally the end of the day. So we got ourselves some new Monster Mon cards. Only one new one, Tornado Fly. There is so many to get. That's what really fascinates me about this game. The amount of depth there is. Monday again times two. <laughs> you see, there's so many stuff along the top. We've got whatever these six things are. This is the Tornado Fly card. This fly can generate tornadoes by flapping its wings. They're not very big because he's a bug. Wow, that's still pretty damn awesome. We're going again, guys. I'm trying to think what I want to do differently. I think I might do the exact same series of events, but this time I want to pay off the dude who's in the bathroom with the cigarettes because I'm not really sure what can happen from there. It seems so innocent. Clearly, there's something deeper going on there. Why take us to the principal and then uh, we'd die? You know. All right, we're going to get the cigarettes this time. Okay, you want these? They're $1. Absolutely fine. I think I'm going to get the yo-yo uh, as well. So I've given him the yo-yo earlier, guys. So you've got a deal. And since we're going to be friends, I think you should do something to help me. You know that creepy old janitor? He stole my laser pointer this morning. He said it was too bright and shiny for his old eyes. I need your help to get it back. When you're ready, I'll give you a hall pass. You can use it to get by the hall janitor once you're past him. Head over to the janitor's closet. My laser should be in there. Okay, let's say it, man. Awesome. It should be in the box somewhere. Just grab it and go. Don't linger there too long. He checks back frequently. All right, just let me know when you're ready and I'll give you the hall pass. I won't be able to distract the teacher for long, so head straight for the door. All right, let's do this. So, he's going to start talking to her. Right, this is our time. <gasps> Wait. Shoot. Let me come back. I messed up. I bet you didn't even try. Thanks for nothing, kid. God damn it, dude. All right, guys. I figured I was going to end the day and we're going to try this again. This time, when Jerome distracts the teacher, I'm going to get the magnifying glass for Nugget. I think that might add up and maybe he'll let us in the Nugget cave and we won't get caught. All right. So now Jerome is going to talk to the teacher and this is our time to get the magnifying glass. We could get the knife. We can get anything we want here. This is crazy. So we're going to take the magnifying glass. This is Lily's cubby. There is a magnifying glass in here. She's probably using it to look for clues about her missing brother. Now, the thing is, Nugget was also interested. We've Failed that assignment. Get over here, kid. You blew it. No way she's gonna put up with another distraction. I'm screwed. Give me my pass back. If we can take it, dude. Do us a favor. So, what are you busy with? He's curious of the ways of nuggets. Now, what he needs is the magnifying glass. So, we have that for him already. Get Nugget a magnifying glass. Well, Nugget, you're already speaking to me and I had it for you. Yes, we do. Excellent. Nugget is pleased. You may have this monster mon card. Nugget is quite fond of it. Oh, thanks. Oh, I was kind of hoping there was gonna be something like a light source. Now be gone. Nugget has important things to attend to. Ah, well, shucks. Okay then, so we did actually get ourselves another Monster Mon card. I want to see what this one is, but damn dude, there are so many different ways this game can go. It's like overwhelming, which way do you follow? We got the King Tower Beetle for this day. And it's Monday again for the fourth time. Or would it be the fifth time actually? Yeah, it'd be the fifth time. Let's just check out this Monster Mon card. This is the King Tower Beetle card. He is just a regular beetle that lives in the King's Tower. Okay then, guys, and that has been another episode of Kindergarten. This game is so fascinating. I don't get why. I just absolutely love the concept behind this game, and I enjoy it so much when I play it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do two videos a week on this game for a while because I want to crack down all the secrets. This is like a 10-part series. I'm serious. I'm really looking forward to starting this thing, and I want to fully complete this. It's the first game in a while I've really wanted to crack down on and get finished off. Feel free as well in the comment section guys to tell me which objectives you want to see me go for. Between each video I'm going to be basing it off of the most thumbed up comment out of them all so if you guys want to see me do something in particular first before I go and do what I want to do definitely let me know down below. But if you guys did enjoy this video why not drop me that like rating and hey if you're new around here why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thank you so much for watching this video guys I of course hope you did enjoy and I will of course see you on the next one.